So what I wanted to do here was do a Xenoverse 2 discussion with features, fixes and wishes based on what people have said from our PS4 community. So let's just get straight into it. So first, Silent Swordman says that he hopes he can transfer his Xenoverse 1 character to Xenoverse 2. He posted this before the news dropped that data transfer was confirmed. I've noticed that I've had quite a few comments lately talking about the data transfer. It seems to be a feature that people are really looking forward to. Lucato says that, well for starters, I hope they shorten the length of stretched limbs on the Mechians and margins, which I'm guessing he's referring to the throws, but I think a good fix for that would be to give us a chance to perfect block and for it to drain two bars of their stamina, so it's a very risky manoeuvre to pull off. Next, Chaos Avenger says that, I hope clothes don't affect stats, that was just stupid and I could not agree more. I think my next Xenoverse 2 video will be essential fixes that just have to happen and I'm going to mention equipment having stats because you have to wear certain equipment or you're just going to be at a huge disadvantage to someone who does decide they will wear the best equipment. From a development standpoint, I honestly don't know why they did this because all they've managed to do was limit all of these hundreds of different pieces of clothing that they spent time programming into just a handful. I just hope that they remove stats from clothing, armour and aura customization if that is to be included. Fierce says that, honestly I hope they make the level up system better, like better quests or achievements to gain XP with. And I really like the idea of gaining XP after doing certain things, like maybe clearing 5 missions with a Z rank, so it would basically be a mini quest. An idea I had for the longest time while playing Xenoverse and levelling up a second level 99 character was that if you have already maxed out a character's level then your next character should get maybe like 20% more experience than usual and then your next character after that should get like 30 or 40% more experience so it's giving you an incentive to play as more characters without having to do that terrible grind that was in Xenoverse 1. He then says I also recall seeing a lot of the same clubs and races in the trailer I mean, why not a cell race? But well, honestly, I think we will get a cell race or a bio android race. Just think about it. In Z, there were four, I guess mainly four, like main villains. You had Vegeta, who was a Saiyan, we can play as a Saiyan. Freezer, who is a Freezer race, and we can play as them. Margin Boo, who is. Margin Boo, we can play as a Margin. The only main villain that isn't represented in Xenoverse properly for creator characters is Cell. So honestly, I think they would include it, and they already have two unique transformations that they could get, which I will speak about in a future video. Holmes says that, but basically he just wants Bandai to punish rage quitters and for there to be balancing. You can expect them to balance in a new game. A good way I think that they should punish rage quitters is for them to lose 1000 BP and you're timed out from joining or creating a lobby for 30 minutes or like an hour. And for them to do what they did in Auto Tenkaichi where if you joined a lobby it will tell you how many times you and the other person have disconnected. Toho Sain says that he wants a better trading system. We already know that trading is returning so hopefully they do improve it. He goes on to mention that he's had a friend that's been playing since day one and he couldn't get Beerus's top until a year later. While he had three of them that he could have easily traded but wasn't allowed to because of how high ranking that piece of clothing was which goes back to what I was saying earlier that clothing stats should just be totally gone. Radical says that he wants Super Saiyan hair to actually spike up which again this is just something that just has to be fixed. There's no other way of saying it, it has to be fixed. As Karna says that he wants fusion and I'm guessing he's referring to creative characters fusing which I actually have came up with a solution to how that could possibly work which I will talk about in the future, but for the most part, don't expect it to happen. Gamer wants more customization. He wants to be able to customize his aura, his fighting animations, throws, and changing his creative character's hairstyle without the need of Dragon Balls. I already think that we will be able to customize our aura, um, but if you remember back in the network test, for Saiyans, they had the Vegeta throw and not the Raditz throw, and arguably, Vegeta's throw looks much better than Raditz's, so I think that was maybe some sort of system that was scrapped because of time or resources or balancing. But I do think we will be able to change our throw in Xenoverse 2. He also mentions two ideas that I really like. A clan system 
and player emblems that can be placed on your doji and battle suits. I think a clan system would be really cool and you could have like clan versus clan world tournaments. But as far as player emblems go, honestly it's not going to happen because Namco Bandai will target this game towards the younger audience. And of course people will make profanity out of like the symbols. Like it's just not going to happen sadly. As far as having to use the Dragon Balls to change out appearance, I think that was just very weird. You had to do something so repetitive just to change your appearance. I just thought that was so strange. Just change it so we can use Zenny instead. Chaos Avenger says that no creator characters should be allowed in rank, which I wholeheartedly disagree with. I'm assuming he said this because compared to the original characters from the show, creator characters are just ridiculously overpowered. So a way that I think they could fix this would be to add more options when you're making the lobby so if you just want to fight using creative characters you can choose that option and the same goes for original characters. Fierce makes another comment saying he wants there to be less spam. The only way I can see them fixing the spamming issue would be to obviously remove infinite key from Super Saiyan or change it so you can't continue using the same attack over and over like maybe add a few seconds of a cooldown after a super attack or an ultimate attack is used. Football King AJ says that it would be cool to make your own moves which I totally agree with it would be cool but there will be people who would abuse it and find glitches and exploiting it but maybe one day we will get that and that will be it for this video I didn't want this to be too long because I don't know if you guys are going to give this video a good reception so if you want more of these laid back discussion videos leave a comment leave a like share it with your friends and I'll see you next time